will forgive you for commanding your evil plan, the scary rubber alliance, to torment universal fan 20 and your friend. We will also never forgive you for commanding them to take over Logo Land and kill half of every TV and movie Logo Land. We will also never forgive you for letting the notorious Steve Game Team up with those scary logos and almost killing Harry Donaldson and even letting the female furies, Lex Luthor, Eclipso and Dark Luthor, Strife and Oz, Luna Luthor, Vandal Savage, Siren, Headmaster Sinestro, the Animoida, the Crawler Dark Kids, Dr. Faulkner and Mayor Sackett, the Evil Enchantress, Dillac, General Zodan Thrower Team up with those scary logos to help them get rid of the DC superheroes. Thanks to the Scary Logo Alliance, Microsoft Sam had a severe Scary Logo phobia on Jimmy Hawks and Maya Logan almost became troublemakers. And the whole entire Logo Land is suffering a great depression because of those Scary Logos. Even the Oz Films Lady of Doom cooperated with the brain and the teeth pins with her magnum opus and turned the two executed fugitive television texts into evil action. You should know that those two fugitives got executed to death after they smoked the devil's weed, messed around with both Paramount and 20th Century Fox television items, blamed me and the Paramount's Blue Mountain falsely, trespassing on every other logo turf and verbally assaulted the Universal Fan 20 Animation Studios staff by throwing violent tantrums. I agree, 20th Century Studios gold structure. Plus, those scary logos killed guy in Image Movers intro Blue Brew 70 and in Dave Manson's video, Looney Tunes intro Blue Brew 70, War of Logos. And then I was brought back to life in Image Movers intro Blue Brew 2 and Brew 11 and L Team Blue Brew 2 and Brew 11, Hero of the Blue Brews. They even messed Universal Fan 20 and his friends around when Sam was in the on Studio Lodge Hospital. Officer Flanagan got kidnapped and Sydney was abducted by Lutonians. The Radiant made a compromise with the Viacom the of Doom and almost killed me. Then Ready Globo Logo Parodies 29 and Dave Madsen SG Parodies 29, Serpents and Zombies, the S Serpent and S Zombie, tried to avenge the Screen Gems S from Hex Death and take the S from Heaven's popularity. Afterwards, in Dave Madsen's The Parodies 24, the invasion of the S Zombies, the S from Hex Ray, the day for being the main star of almost the entire G Blooper Slash parody series. Then in Ready Glow No Logo Parodies 44 and Dave Manson's PBS Parodies 44, Hostile Takeovers Gun 1, the two-headed angry P-head, the angry pink P-head, the BS head and the P-skull tried to avenge the angry P-head and two-headed P-head. And last but not least, in Dave Manson's NBC Parodies 10, the jump scare abomination, the logo Lion Spectre tried to give everyone a massive jump scare. Now it is time to get rid of the nightmarish menace once and for all. You're about to show me what true logo justice is about. These enamored objects must get on my I've been hit by a pile of Legos. Ow. Critical hit. Dark side has taken damage. Remaining health points, 300 million out of 666,666,666. 666, 666. 